Hello guys, Cam Alex Mason here, and we're back for some more Call of Duty 2 Big Red 1 gameplay. I'm actually going to try... Then, uh... Beat the campaign, or at least make it up to... Um... Yeah, up to counterattack. If I can just find there we are. No wait. One two. I meant to say Desert Fox, but I could go there. So the characters in this mission are, give me a sec, I, Sergeant Glenn Hawkins, Private, this is the flashback, and it leads up to the prologue, Private Alvin Bloomfield, Private Victor Denley, Private Roland, Lo uh, Roland Roger, and Private Stephen Kelly. November 8th, 1942. Oran, North Africa. That's an. How did he shoot the sand? Spitfire is... Loud enough for you guys. Soldier, take Kelly, Bluefield, and the rest of the squad and mop up that barracks on the right. I want it squeaky clean, you hear me? 
Yes, sir. You know what, I honestly have never used this weapon, I'm going to use it. Oh, and this, did I mention that this game actually does have a leaning feature? So, therefore, Ghost actually wasn't the first one to pull it off in consoles. Yet, they claim they did. I've already used you. If I'm going to pick up a French weapon, it's going to be a good one. So these are considered the bad French. These are the ones that were Nazi collaborators. I don't know, Kelly. Yeah. So these two French weapons I'm holding, I've never actually tried before. Hello, Kelly. You see those hangers? Get in there and secure them. I don't care how you do it. Make them ours. Yes, Sergeant. Oh, by the way, I think there's an ongoing joke in this game about his character. I'm not gonna go into it too much because it's spoil it's a spoiler, but you'll I don't I probably won't. Ah, I took too much damage. Wait, I could have taken. Whoa, what the What is it? Actually, you know what? I like going upstairs better. It works for me. Okay, mm. let's go, Brooklyn. Yes, I know you're from the Bronx, but it's better to call you Brooklyn. You're from New York. Oi! Oh, 
I keep forgetting this isn't finest hour. Um. What do I do? How do you get down? Oh. Uh. Yeah, I'm a really bad shot, I know. But hey, <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, we actually have a French kid, or, yeah. A foreign exchange student, um, he was literally from France. Um, and because he didn't know, um, a certain history question, he pulled the French card on our history teacher. He's like, I'm French! I don't know what this is! And we're all like, you pulled a French card on our teacher? Go, Brooklyn! Weep! Weep! Hello! Okay. Well, this seems to be done. Now the fun part. Oh, and also the checkpoints in this game are a lot more friendly. Oh, Shiza! No! So according to the people who developed this game, it was actually very, like, when, because, you know, Call of Duty likes to try and make the sounds as realistic as possible. They said it was actually hard to find these weapons, the French and Italian weapons, during World War II. Fuck. Ah. Move. God. Olsen! Hey, hey! I like your hat. It's bad you're a, a Nazi collaborator. Get back your Frenchie. Move out. Get on me what you want. Oh. Well, I feel like a doom cop. Oh, I've been going on a good for Oh, I gotta go back up! I Make up your mind, you stupid game. I'm getting a little loopy, it's a little tired. I'm a little tired, but is it as... <sighs> it's not as late as it was before. Here, what am I looking for exactly?
Okay, Brooke, let's go. You know, when you say private, I know they're referring to me, but there are like three privates in this unit. You could be talking to either one of them, really. Oh shit. Are these guys like on morphine or something? Oh, I was supposed to go that way. Well, then why did it? Get this shit over with. Again, I'm very loopy because I'm very tired. Oh, hello, German drop er, the German half track. Uh, ooh, a complete bag. I actually saw one of these in real life. I'm not kidding. Yeah, for some odd reason, they actually uh, permit this for um, civilian use. Can I actually go in there and use it? Uh -oh. Ow! Don't... Don't ruin it, Frenchie. Can we move up? I'm... Like dangerously low on health now, but again, at least their health system in this game is a lot more generous. I'm wide awake. Oh, I was in the dark. That. Oh, I thought that was. American dollars. It's like, what are they doing with American currency? Ah, shite. What the hell? 
Oi, Snyder! Snyder, what are you doing? There we go. Move, bitch. Ow. Oh, hello. Oh, that would have been amazing if I could get a collateral. Didn't I just clear you? Oi! Dumb Frenchie. That's a no no. I just cleared you! I, I can't. I say we go down there and give them a taste of their own medicine. Beep, 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 beep. beep. Okay, let's set up a perimeter ASAP. I don't want to lose this airfield to another counterattack. Now get going. Now another, okay, so that's got that mission out of the bag. Now another thing I'm going to add about this game, um, this features people from the, that said show that I, I don't know if I mentioned it in the first mission, but I want to keep anonymous right now. Um, another thing I will point out, though, and I will tell you right away, is that one of the voice actors, I can't remember what character he is, 
is actually the voice of Marlton Johnson in Black Ops 2 Zombies. So he is familiar with the Call of Duty franchise before. That and plus this is a Treyarch game, as a matter of fact. So, without further ado, I'm just going to prepare myself for the next mission, which only has two characters, and is an interesting one, so... I'm Captain Alex Mason, I'll see you guys in like a few seconds, basically.